so. Yuka is raking back in his sixth position, then comes like a hero. Pleasantly perfect as eight lengths off the leaders and three more to Grey Mamo. They run to the half mile in the Goodwood and it's still Reba's Gold and David Flores taking them along a length and a quarter. Truly a judge is racing in second. Now momentum is getting up closer and join third. Inside of that comes Kayla. In behind that, Tapatio can find no more. Pleasantly perfect, like a hero. Euchre has to pick it up on the outside and Grey Memo is 11 off them. They're approaching the quarter pole. Reba's Gold still has a length and a quarter advantage. Momentum now coming to take him on on the outside. Kayla's in with a shot pleasantly perfect hook to the grandstand side and coming home gamely to this one's wide open reba's goal battling to hold on pleasantly perfect on the outside momentum not quite doing enough in third and it's pleasantly perfect now taking the lead as they come to the 16th pole and pleasantly perfect sticks his neck out and goes gamely for the wire and pleasantly perfect and alex Solis come home three length winners of the goodwood momentum second reba's gold was third and like a hero finish fourth well, maybe I spoke a little too early in saying his uh, best racing days were down the road. I mean, it was today. <laughs> a very impressive performance by Pleasantly Perfect. He got a nice pace in front of him to help, which he expected to get. Uh, but look at the running time. A mile and an eighth, 146 flat. That is a stakes record. Only one-fifth of a second off the track record. And trainer Richard Mandela is extremely pleased. He pumps his arms there. He said... All Pleasantly Perfect had to do, he told me this before the race, was run a good finishing third, and he would seriously consider the Breeders' Cup Classic. Well, now he's got to be really excited about his about his chances. Yeah, he is now three for four since they added Blinkers, fourth in the Pacific Classic, and, of course, improves to first here in the Goodwood. But here's the rub. Now, going into this race, Pleasantly Perfect had zero Breeders' Cup points. Now, Breeders' Cup points are earned in graded stakes races with a 1-2-3 finish, and at that Breeders' Cup time, the top seven horses that are point-getters, the top seven point-getting horses automatically get into the breeders cup the other seven assuming there's a 14 horse field have to be selected by a panel and pleasantly perfect is going to be among those horses that's going to require the panel selection so hopefully uh, for his case and for mandela's case the panel will be sufficiently impressed with this victory it certainly was eye-catching in that final time uh, it was actually 146 and four 146.80, not 146 flat. So it was a mistakes record. It was actually the second fastest time behind Bertrando, but nonetheless uh, an outstanding performance.